You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented sleep. You made it. Enjoying the view? Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. Are goblins forbidden from carrying wands? Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> Tell them what you've done. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Diane, Hogwarts isn't the same without you. Well, sharp is still as foul, but you know what I mean. I hope you're feeling better. Sebastian. Sebastian, this is my potion kit, not yours. Leave my things be. What kind of curse does she have? Bevelia. Something out there. Practice dummies. The residents of Falcroft sometimes use these to practice their spellcasting, especially in light of recent goblin attacks. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh dear, Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother, and me, in line. 
I do miss Hogwarts. But I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you what? well. What curse do you have? We're not going to ask. That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes. Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. It could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, <laughs> thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. With all due respect, sir, hope could keep Anne's spirits up. You may mean well, but I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Sounds like he knows more about what's going on. Because if he keeps messing, they'll attack here. Is that the castle? Okay. Well, if there's going to be uh, like any information about the cure, it'll probably be inside the castle. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. Why would they curse her? Why not just simply I kill her? I expected to dig through this rubble. Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's 
an honor to be a part of it. Only that wizard is a dead wizard in my book. <laughs> Rather unwise coming back this way. Let's get it. Revelio. Has more of them. Ooh, this shouldn't take long. more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. You did? There was a ton of them. Oh, healing potions though, that's good. Oh, you also heal out of combat, that's good. Don't have to waste any. Okay, so that's where they were doing their digging. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelt smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. Seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The Loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here. 
And it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Rebellion. Whose home was this? Been abandoned home? Long since I've lived here. Oh. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. Oh, one of the ones that are in the paintings. For a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Revelio. This well looks familiar. Sebastian, I've seen this before. The house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Revelio. One of the ones we personally haven't met yet, I think. If you can class this meeting for a portrait, essentially it's the same thing. Come in here. Uh, wait, what? There's a way down. Ah, uh, maybe. Sure, revealed to go through there. Sebastian, over here. Do you think this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Repair it. No car repair that. Sebastian. This house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganock. She was one of the keepers. The Keepers, like in Quidditch. And you found a pensive in the library. I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves Keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It all has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. You can see traces of an ancient magic that you think Ranrock is trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it? When you put it like that. The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the Keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Confringo! Huh. 
Huh. A stairwell. Ah. Lumos. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. It is my second week in the camp. More arrive each day. The muggle doctors and even some of our own healers are doing all that they can for them. The grief is palpable. The ones who survived the plague are forever damaged by their loss. A fever may pass. The skin may mend and scar. But the devastating sorrow remains. I saw a man, much like my father, who had lost a child. I couldn't bear it. I longed to give him some shred of relief. I'm beginning to think that the others are wrong. I have the power to help these souls. It seems as arbitrary not to help them as it would be to rid them of their torment. A journal entry of Isidore's. I should hold on to this. I travelled here to learn, but I long to help. My internal struggle is overwhelming. It's as though the magic wants to heal, and I am the one preventing it from doing so. Should I lose hope? Will I forever regret not having done more? I cannot look into their eyes, knowing that I could lessen the burden of heartache. I saw the man leaving camp today, the one who so reminded me of my father. Surely it wouldn't hurt to help him. I could further my research, of course, but that would be a for fortuitous consequence of doing something good with this ability. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. Okay, let's look further on. Confringo! Lumos. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. Revelia. Lumos. Oh, we need to speak to. Okay. I know it sounds strange. Honestly, but... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall, as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it, and that you couldn't wield it. That's true, and I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows, I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can, but perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. a triptych here. Seems as if something's missing. A note? Let's have a look. Hmm, okay. Don't understand it. Anything helpful in the note? No. <laughs> a rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. 
You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not. Sounds worth looking into. Any idea where in the castle? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Or maybe we'll be able to find the cure for him. Meet me near the ruins of Falbarton Castle. After dark. Do not tell anyone. Uh, what? Why, Nachi? Why are we doing that? Off on another adventure, are we? Oh, wow. Oh, I guess before it was just October, and now we are in full-on Halloween. We've got all the pumpkins. So I guess every time you do a main story mission, it progresses time a little bit. So yeah, we got the uh, yeah full-on Halloween with the pumpkins in the air. That's really cool. That's amazing. I love it. Okay, is he supposed to be here at night? I've always said that travel anything to do with the dark art should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the dark arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Ominous is right. Meddling in the dark arts is dangerous. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this. Better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus curse? Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus Curse, also known as the Torture Curse, inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting it on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous, he was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me, and more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. 
I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Handy so, resource indeed, your field guide. So if Hogwarts is like this, let's have a look. Let's go here. Anything else changed? Anything else Halloween-y? Have we got any points yet? No. Of course not. Don't you fret, Biscuit. I shall sort something out. Hello. Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf, Biscuit, was abducted by poachers up north. All oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr... Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor Biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. A moon calf is an unusual pet. Why did you choose Biscuit? She followed me one evening. I wouldn't leave my side. Never thought I was one for a pet of any kind. But now I can't imagine life without her. Moon calves are often thought of as silly, simple-minded creatures. But I've seen great depth of character in Biscuit. I wouldn't trade her for a hippogriff or a hippopotamus. Or even a goose that lays golden eggs. Why do you suppose the poachers took Biscuit? I have no idea. Mooncalf dung's highly valuable for fertilizing magical plants. But I cannot imagine poachers care much about gardening. Who knows what they'll do to her? She could be flog-skinned, gutted and stuffed. I assume... Oh, Biscuit. I'll keep an eye out for your Mooncalf, Garneth. How kind. If only all of Wizardkind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Do keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. I should try and rescue Garnoth's moon calf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. Okay, we'll save you, moon calf. Is these, poachers. Uh, poachers. God, it was right then. I'd better be careful. Something's not right here. Tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we could steal some beef from the pens at Hogwarts. I think we need some shut eye. I'm going mad here. Can't tell which way. Someone having a pet truck. Ah, oh, facing away from us. No, the lies and falsehoods. No one's my ear and Rockwoods. Can I get a bunch of these? Oh no, oh no. no. You'd Let's get this over with. You're the one who stole the goblin house. And Amigas. Oh. It's a bit like um being on fire. Hey.
Okay, that got rid of them. Oh, they've took a bunch of moon calves. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Are you a biscuit? Oh, do I have to grab it? Oh no, you don't. What? I hear the wrong thing. Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. I'm glad she's safe now. I'm sure she'll be happy to go home. Oh, that is a great weight off my mind. Oh, my sweet little biscuit. My wise, noble moon calf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Biscuit and I can't thank you enough. Seems they kept all the decorations of the main, the main hall, or the grand hall, whatever it's called. Okay, so we're gonna do our first astronomy class. Um, I think we should probably take look like the other students. Actually, I think we've used this rover a, a while. It's very nice. Maybe we should look like the uh, the other class. Um, our classmates. So, what do, what do other Ravenclaws wear? Do we all wear the same thing? I should say, do they wear the they same thing? They call it chemistry. Yes, I'm aware. Muggles have a lot of different words for things. They might be probably French. I wonder how similar it is to potions. I'm sure it's nothing like it in the least, with the exception that... You've had a potion go horribly wrong, have you? What? No, no, of course not. I see. Only you said. So Is that what she's wearing? Because her burns look way darker. Oh, it's because of the light. Okay. Okay. I'm not saying it was my fault. Okay. So this is the bloody Baron, because he's got all the chains on. I think I kept calling him Headless Neck, <laughs> but no, this is the bloody Baron, 
because the Blood Baron wears the chains. Yeah, and got the silver blood stains, and he's always coming up to the astronomy tower. reading is the dragon that's exciting I suppose perhaps you're due for an adventure ladies professor Shah astronomy is not divination you won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. She is not impressed with us. Oh, uh, hello. Good to see you again. We Ravenclaws must stick together. <laughs> oh, hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, uh, I. Thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Okay. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. The thing is, though, in this I'll astronomy class, we didn't really learn anything. <laughs> Telescope. Oh, where am I going? Oh, yeah, the storage underneath. Okay. Underneath this room. This was his old telescope. Looks practically brand new. A pristine night for stargazing. Do not let it be wasted. Professor Shah, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? 
empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? You mentioned astronomy tables earlier in class. What were you talking about? Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar. The other is mere lunacy. <laughs> Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. Wow. Really? <laughs> the perfect oh, night go. for... Oh, hello again. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I had expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes. What is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. That's cool, I've already found it. And you need someone to help you find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Oh, no need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant! You won't regret it! Shall we? Uh, where are we? We're outside. What? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't quite belong. But there's one we'll by the greenhouse. We Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Don't mind me, I'm just going to grab these uh, mushrooms along the way. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? <laughs> if you're sure. Hmm, a little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as uh, tidy as I expected. Revelia. Caged bathtub. This bathtub has been kept behind lock and key for as long as anyone can remember. Rumour has it that the tub was enchanted to chase after students decades ago who were too obsessed with their studies to care much for personal hygiene. Be nice if he was like rattling against him. Oh, do we just need to move this out of the way? Okay. Oh. Have my way. Revelia. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? No. Oh, no. Not this close to the school, Emmett. Look, there's the table. Indeed. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. I can zoom. 
As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Oh, okay. Lyra. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope, don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous, thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Astronomy class complete. Find astronomy tables. Okay, new challenge. Oh, never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view. Incredible. <laughs> to your journey back. Okay, so where is the greenhouse? Because we know there's one over there. I swear it wasn't what you think. Was it over this one? No, it's further on, right? I think. Um. Bavelio. Maybe I've gone too far. Ah. Ah, it's right here. Oh, it's got a shimmer of stars over it now. Knowing our meat, he's likely studied here. Okay. Yeah, so it'd be like that. Phoenix. Okay. Uh, 